The Clients tab in the Advisor Portal is where you can manage your entire book of business in Right Capital. This area is where you can find your client list, search for specific client households, and open each of your client plans. The Clients tab is also where you can manage each client's personal information and plan access using the three tabs on the right side of the page. In this training video, we'll first touch on the client list and review some pro tips and best practices for sorting and managing your client households. We'll then touch on the personal info, client access, and planning access tabs for an individual client and all of the features and functionality available within each. Your client list can be found on the left-hand side of the client's page, providing insight into your entire book of business. Households will be listed alphabetically based on the last name of the first client listed within each plan. To open and launch into a client plan from the client list, you can either hover your mouse over the client and click the arrow icon that appears to the right, or you can click on that client household and then click the open client button in the upper right of the page. New client plans can be created by clicking the add a new client button at the top of the client list. You can also delete client plans from this page as well by hovering your mouse over a particular client and then clicking the X icon that appears to the right. The client list lets you search for individual client plans using the search box at the top of the list. Although the name of the first client in each household is what will display in the list itself, you can search for client households by co-client as well. You can also filter by specific client group using the drop-down menu above the search box. As a reminder, client groups can be created and managed within the Client Settings, Client Groups tab of the Advisor Portal. Before moving on from the client list, I want to mention that there is an option to hide the client list on this page by default to add an additional layer of privacy to your book of business. This can be done by navigating to the gear icon, account, preferences tab, and checking off the setting that reads, do not automatically list my clients on advisor portal clients page. This will create a more discreet, searchable list that can pull up individual households without exposing additional client details from your book of business. After choosing a client household from your client list, you can manage that client household's information and access using the three tabs to the right of the client list. The first of these is the personal info tab, which is where you can enter the names, birthdays, and contact info for each household. If you've imported the household via a third-party integration, like Redtail or Wealthbox, some of the contact information may already be present within the personal info tab. Client names and birthdays are shared between the Clients tab of the Advisor Portal and the Profile Family tab of the client plan itself. The contact information area is entirely optional and won't have an impact on that client plan if left blank. For advisors with team sharing enabled, you can choose whether you want a specific client household to be shared with teammates or private. You can also choose a specific household's client group within the Select Group dropdown at the bottom of the Personal Info tab. The Client Access tab for each client is where you can invite clients, manage their access, and determine their client portal settings. To invite a client to have access to their client plan, Choose that client from your client list, navigate to their client access tab, and then type in their email address at the top of the page. Clicking invite will generate and send that client their email invitation. You can choose to invite just the client, just the co-client, or both to have access to their plan. After a client has accepted their invitation, you'll have the ability to manage that client's access from this tab as well. This allows you to reset their password, disable their two-step verification, or entirely remove their access at any time. After inviting a client, you can fully customize the client portal settings to determine what that client can and can't do within their plan. The first setting determines whether or not that client can update profile information, and the second setting determines if they can make adjustments to action items within the plan. This can be completely customized on a per-client basis. Our last tab here is the Planning Access tab, which allows you to determine which pages each client will have access to 
upon logging into their client portal. To customize a client's planning access, check the boxes next to the specific modules you would like that client to be able to see. Modules that are underlined can be clicked into, allowing for further customization. After making your selections, click Save in the lower right. On the client side, invited clients will only be able to see the modules that are checked on their planning access checklist. This will not impact your view of the plan from the advisor side. You will always have access to every tab and planning module, regardless of your planning access selections. You can impersonate the client perspective and view the custom interface you've created here by opening the plan in client access mode. You can also drag and drop specific modules or tabs to rearrange the order in which they will appear within the client plan. This can be done regardless of whether the client has been invited, and the changes will impact the view of the plan from both the advisor side and the client side. That's it for our overview of the Clients tab in Write Capital. If you have any questions about managing your client list in Write Capital, please feel free to reference the resources within the Write Capital Help Center or to reach out to our advisor support team for more details.